muskies are the fish of 10,000 casts. So what drives people to pick up a fly rod to chase these fish? Is it the sheer size or beauty of these fish? Or is it the excitement when everything does come together? Or is it another chance for an angler to search for something that he is looking for in life? More often than not, you will see one hunting your fly without striking, and the experience leaves you breathless and shaking. Other times, they will crush your fly so fast that you couldn't keep it away from them, even if you tried. And both of these experiences will haunt us. But why? Why do we do it? Why do we pour so much time and energy into a fish of 10,000 casts that strains our bodies and minds, and when in the end, this fish is barely unlikely to cooperate and eat a fly? We fish so hard and long just trying to get a chance at one of these elusive fish. I've had the great opportunity to guide John Gearock to muskies the last two years. He's a patient and diligent angler, and it is absolutely incredible on how excited he gets when he lands one of these fish. So last fall, when John had just landed his muskie, in that rare moment, I asked him the question, why do you fly fish for muskies? Well, you asked me that right after I landed one right good timing, man. <laughs> um, I, I like them. I, I'm fascinated by fish that are hard to catch. And these guys are hard to catch. They're like, in one way, they're sort of mindlessly, brutally uh, predatory. And then in another way, they're like a, a spoiled old brown trout in a spring creek. You know, they're just real moody. And you'd think, you look at one, you think this thing would eat anything. But you, you cast for days, and you see fish sometimes, and they just they look at it, eh, that's nice. And then, when you finally get one, you just like, like this one just now, it just comes out of nowhere, eats it, like you couldn't get the fly away from him, and you, you try to set hard enough to, to hook him, and, then, and the fight lasts a minute or two. I mean, this is a big fish. And it's just, it's just brutal. It's like, like Tom McGuane says about tarpon fishing, fishing, it's hours and days of drudgery punctuated by moments of sheer terror. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Absolutely. And, and, and when you get one, you've really got something. I mean, it's a big, toothy, impressive fish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they're, they're, you can come, as you know, you know, you guide for them fish for a long time and not get one yep. so absolutely yeah well thanks for coming out i appreciate it you bet <laughs> everyone's reason for chasing these elusive fish on the fly is different but here are just a few of the reasons why we do Ooh, put it down
Move it, 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 turn it, turn it. There he is. See him. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, turn it, turn it. Set it, set it.